Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be making a very different kind of video, something I haven't done before. So I don't know if you know this, but ever since the new iPhone update came out, the iOS 14, there's been this huge trend of customizing your phone's home screen. If you watched my last video, you know that I just got a new phone. I got the iPhone 12 Pro and so I wanted to make it look nice and customize my home screen. And I'm going to show you my screen and explain what my thoughts were behind designing it. I know people like pick a theme and pick like certain colors they want and then they go from there. But I kind of decided to take it one step ahead and um, make my screen reflect my vision board. So it's just like all the things that I desire, everything that I want for myself, my goals like career wise and stuff. We all spend so much time like looking at our phones and it's a nice reminder every time you unlock your screen to you know see your goal. So yeah let me jump right in and show you my home screen. So as you can see this is my home screen and I literally love it so much. I just wanted to add some color in here so I went with the green and as you can see for the icons that I wanted for the apps on my home screen I went and selected pictures that kind of match my vision so there's one here that says goals there's one with a bunch of money because I want to be very like successful there's one with a heart because I want to attract love and friendships in my life and there's a map uh, which symbolizes travel. Okay, so the first step before you do anything else is to of course download iOS 14 on your phone. You go to your settings and then you go to general and then it says software update up there. Uh, and then your phone will check for an update. I actually already have the iOS 14. This looks like a new one, so I'm not gonna download it right now. But this is where you can download and install your update. You're gonna need two apps on your phone. One is the shortcuts app. You go to your app store and you look for your shortcuts app it's the shortcuts by apple it looks like this one and you download that and then the other app we're gonna need is widget smith so you look for widget smith it's this one with a square this is the app that helps you customize all of your um you know widgets on your home screen so yeah you gotta download this one so before you start customizing your home screen you need to decide what apps you want to have on your home screen so for me i just chose the apps that i use the most to be on the first page and then when you swipe on my next screen i have a few more before you start off your customization your screen will probably look like this one you can have as many apps as you want on your home screen it looks cleaner when there's not too many so I'm gonna show you how to move the apps that you don't really use a lot without deleting them from your phone so say I don't want this Zara app on my home screen I'm gonna long press it and say edit home screen and then press on that little minus sign there and then there's an option to delete the app or remove from the home screen you have to hit the remove from the home screen and what this will do is send the app to this place called app library on your phone which is again an ios 14 feature and then if you look up zara here it's still on my phone so we haven't deleted it but we have moved it away from the home screen so say these are the 12 apps that i want on my home screen and now i'm ready to get into building up my home screen so first and foremost you have to decide what color you want your home screen to be so i chose this green app background that you see it ju it's just like a very plain and simple but it still has like different shades of green so I wanted to go with the whole green theme for my vision board just because I think green symbolizes abundance, money, uh, success and I also did the same for my lock screen so when I unlock my phone I still can see my wallpaper in line with my vision board so I'm gonna put a picture here of what it looks like so all the icons that I got for this video are from Pinterest of course you can pay for like backgrounds and uh, app covers and stuff but I just didn't want to spend my money like that so I got all of my stuff on Pinterest for free and I'm gonna show you how to do that so for my backgrounds I went on Pinterest and searched for aesthetic green backgrounds and you see a bunch of those come up this one looks similar to the one that i have right now then you go here and you say download image and then it shows up in your photos of course and once you have that saved you go into settings and then you go into wallpaper and then choose a new wallpaper all photos 
I will select the one I just downloaded and I will say set and then it'll ask me if I want it to be just for my home screen or even for my lock screen so I will say set home screen and once that is done you will see that it has changed my home screen background and then we'll move into how I created these little widgets on my screen for the day and date here and then this widget is actually a gallery of pictures that keep changing so every time I lock and unlock my phone this one has a different picture and then there's one more where I have the location and the time so for this we will go ahead and look for the app we just downloaded which is the widget smith app and then you will see that it will open up this interface where you can build out these widgets for yourself so there are three different sizes the small which is most of my home screen of course and then there is the medium widget and then there's the large widget i wouldn't recommend selecting the large widget just because it just you know occupies like more than half of your home screen so you wouldn't have a lot of space for other things so what you have to do here to create your own widget is go ahead and say add a small widget and it'll add a default calendar or whatever widget and then you click on it and then you will see all these there's a bunch of options you will see so i'm gonna select this one and then once you select that you can go to the aesthetic or theme and there is a bunch of themes here like you can see uh, all of these are again customizable so I'm gonna select for now the green one because that's the color of my theme and then you click customize theme and here you can basically customize every single thing there's a bunch of fonts here um, my favorites are the New York font and the Futura font once you've customized your font you can move into the tint color and the tint color is basically the color of the text that you see I'm going to go ahead and set it to white because I want it to be simple and then you go to the background color and you can customize again the color of the background here I do not really like this um, dirty green color so I'm gonna try and select a, a nicer green I think this one is really nice so I'm gonna set that as the background color and then you can move into border color um, you can also set this the same color as your background color and then the artwork a lot of these you will see are locked and to use them you have to pay an extra fee I don't really want to do that so I'm just going to um, you know select the basic one and then say save and then say apply to this widget only go back and then you hit save again so if you don't hit save here it will not save your customization so make sure you're hitting save and then you can also go ahead and rename this i will rename it to small calendar just so i know and then that's how you create the calendar widget i have the time and location widget and then i have the steps widget under health and activity you will see that there is a step count widget again you can customize it the same way as you did the calendar widget but i also want to quickly show you how i created my rotating photo album uh this one says i am creating the life of my dreams so for this what i did was i went on pinterest and looked for exactly the things that i wanted to be reminded of so i wanted something called consistency so i looked I just typed in consistency and this icon came up so I, I again downloaded it to my gallery and I also wanted some aesthetic images to kind of break up my photo album between all the quotes and the motivational um, quotes that I have in there so I've created a bunch of like boards on my Pinterest one is of these aesthetic wallpapers there's another one with all the iOS 14 ideas so if you're looking for inspiration you can uh, you know look at this board it has a bunch of um, iOS 14 screens that I loved and I saved them I will be linking all of my Pinterest boards at, in the description box for this video so you can go ahead and get some inspiration and uh, but yeah for my photo album like I said I wanted some aesthetic images as well so I have saved them to my aesthetic image board on Pinterest I also saved this one for my Pinterest board for my photo album because it just embodies happiness and friendship and those are things of course that I also want in my life and they are part of my vision board so I saved that so that's how you basically save a lot of images and then once you have all of those images saved in your gallery I've already done this so I will just show you how to add these new ones that I just downloaded you will select all the images that you just downloaded and you want on your home screen in your rotational photo album 
and you will go here and you will say add to album and then once i already have an album here if you see it's called home screen so i will go ahead and tap this so that what that does is add these three pictures to my home screen album and then we will go back to the widget smith app we will create a small widget we will tap that and then go to photos and album and of course you can again customize everything here i'm not going to go over that again but then you hit selected album and then you can hit which which part of your gallery you want the images to be selected from so here it's by default it is favorites but i will scroll down and i will find my home screen album so it's here at the end so i'm going to tap the home screen album and then go back say if you look at it it's already showed up here one of the pictures that i have in my home screen album i will hit save and then i can again rename this let me just say visions for now and then save it so that's how you go about creating all of your widgets i have another one created here this is the medium widget I like these medium widgets with the calendar with the upcoming events because I have I can see on the left what events I have planned and what I need to do today so I, I like that one so I will just save that for now so on your home screen where you've already decided the apps that you want to keep go ahead and long press on your home screen again and then hit this plus button that you see on the top left and then search for widget smith and once you have your widget smith app you can choose which widget you want to add so small medium or large just click on add widget so i only had one medium widget so that'll add that one to my to my home screen and then again if you want to add another small widget do the same thing here go to widget smith and then click on small and then add widget and then if you want to change the small widget because i have a couple of small widgets i will click on this and click here and there you will see all the different small widgets that i have so i will say i want my vision board so i'm going to click on vision board and then click out and that will have my vision board um, photo album widget added there you can add as many as you want to and you can also stack widgets so what you can do is if you want to add another small widget you do the same thing um, if you don't have enough space on your home screen for all the widgets you want to add you can go ahead and stack your widgets so here i will click on this and say i want it to be the steps widget so there i have my steps and once i want to stack it what i will do is just tap on this and then drag it over this so there you will see they stacked and if you scroll down you'll have the steps and if you scroll up you will have the vision board so yeah in the beginning it's just a little bit annoying because there's just so many steps but once you get the hang of it it's a lot quicker and now i'm gonna show you quickly how i added these app covers so for that you will need to go into your shortcuts app uh, it's an apple app and it comes in built with your iphone so here there's a bunch of things you can do than just changing your app covers if you want to add a shortcut to calling your best friend who you call very often you can just add you know a shortcut and once you press the shortcut it'll directly call your best friend so there's definitely a lot to do on the shortcuts app so definitely feel free to look around and see what you want to do for now i'm just going to show you how i created the app covers tap this plus button in the top right corner and then say add action and then click scripting and once you click scripting you will choose open app and then here you can choose which app you want so for now i'm just gonna say i will choose facebook uh then go to next here you can name the shortcut whatever you want i will just call this facebook look and then click on done and you will see that it has been added to your main page on your all shortcuts page so to add the app cover i will click on these three dots in the right corner and then go to this right corner and click on the three dots again and then i will say add to home screen and here if you click on the icon itself you will have three options take photo choose photo and choose file go to choose photo and here you can actually 
customize it and whatever you whatever you want the app cover to be again for me these are all my vision board items i was able to find all of the pictures that i wanted and whatever um you know icons that i wanted for free on pinterest and i will just go here it's the chanel um perfume and i will set it to whatever however zoomed in i want it to be and say choose and then i will say add and then i will say done done and there you have it it's on your home screen so you can basically do this for a lot of different apps for all of the apps as you can see on my home screen i have it for my top 12 apps that i use and then on the bottom right you will see the spotify and the robin hood uh, app that i didn't really change the covers for because i thought the green already matched my theme so i didn't want to you know change the covers for it so i have a shortcut here which says wake up that if i click on it it'll ask me for what time i want my alarm clock to be and i can just say 6 a.m done and that's it my alarm is set so i will show you how i did that so i will go to shortcuts again add action Again, go to create. You will see an action there which says create alarm. I will say 6 a.m. and I will call it 6 a.m. for now <laughs> and then say next. Shortcut name, I'm just gonna call it 6 a.m. again. Done. Again, click the three dots. Click the three dots again. Add to home screen, go, go here, choose your photo. I will just choose this for now just to show you. Um, and then I will say add. And then if I go to my home screen, you will see that the alarm has been added there. And if I click on it, my alarm is set. That is simple as that. Now there is one drawback with doing this and adding these shortcut app covers to your home screen. Let me show you what happened. So if I tap on YouTube here, you will see that for a split second, it goes to the Shortcuts app before it goes to YouTube, which was really, really annoying for me. And that is why I didn't customize any of my doc wallpapers where I have the call and the iMessage app. So if I want to call someone, I want to do it quick, right? So I just want to hit it and go to call. So I just left my doc icons unchanged. But there is one way to make this action kind of more seamless and less annoying. Uh, again, I haven't seen anyone else talk about this. To make it less annoying, go into settings, go into accessibility and then into motion. And usually you will have the reduce motion here off. Toggle that and then turn it on. And this is how you make your actions less annoying. Every time you open, you will still be redirected to the shortcut app, but it will be a lot more smoother and the time frame will be different. There, there won't be as much like jarring motion. So that's how I, you know, took that annoying factor out of customizing my home screen. And so yeah, that is about how I customized my home screen to be really aesthetic, but really like inspiring also and just to have my vision board on it so I just see it every time I open my phone. Go through my Pinterest board where I saved a bunch of uh, iOS 14 home screen uh, designs and options for you guys to get inspiration from. I will also be linking the board in my description box. So yeah, at this point I feel like this video is going to be like 18 minutes long but I really wanted to give you guys an in detail explanation of how to go about this so you don't have to sit there and google everything but yeah i hope this was helpful let me know in the comments below if you got some inspiration if this was helpful and if you did end up customizing uh, a home screen feel free to dm me on instagram and uh, send it to me i will add it to my pinterest board or add it to my insta stories and with that i want to say thank you so much for sticking around i will see you in my next one bye